Hello ladies, I'm doing this tutorial of the crepe, like uh, ruffles and um, while I was kind of preparing I kind of made these uh, flowers, roses so I thought I'd show you both quickly how I make these and how, what I'm using and um, and I hope I'll be kind of organized enough with everything around and I didn't forget anything. So, um, I'm using, where is my crepe? So I'm using just crepe paper, not the cheapest one. Ooh, don't like this. Uh, not kind of the cheapest one that I, I mean, my local shop, I could only find the cheap one, which is not as elastic. You can find more elastic ones but I've only seen them online and they're quite expensive for what I make. So I think it's like Italian, they call it it's Italian elastic crepe paper or something. Anyway, so I got this from Timo. I think this is how you spell this name of the app. They are like everywhere. I'm sure you, can, you haven't missed it. So um, uh, this is where I got mine from. I just put crepe paper. I went for the white one because anyway i'm going to dip it in different colors and coffee teas and everything uh, but if i'm not wrong because i tried it very long time ago when i say a long time ago it's like years ago and i should have got another shade like a darker shade because and i'll try to do it next time i order is if you go let's say for a very dark purple shade crepe paper and you dip it in water then it kind of lose some of the color and you are left with a vintagey sort of like old color. I don't know even how to explain it. If I get another one, I'll make a quick tutorial for this. Anyway, so basically you just dip it in water and then all the color spread and then you get like just a leftover of the color. And I'm sure that if you oven dry, then you'll get like really nice antique shades. Anyway, so for this one, uh, so I'll tell you what I've got here. Um, so this is coffee. Uh, I put here like about full spoon of coffee. Um, I didn't make tea this time because I wanted to get like darker shade. This is made with tea. And let me find something. This is with coffee. And because I'm ruffling it, I would like to get the edge kind of burnt so and already a tea one so it's the same idea just different type of shade personally I prefer this but sometimes for the ruffles I prefer to have like um, like dark edges uh, and here I'm sure you can get this effect with any kind of uh, color um, but I have this one I'm using for chocolate so because it's edible and because it's oil based and not water based then you can use it over chocolate because it doesn't melt can like make leave stains on the chocolate so this but and it has a lovely lovely texture i'm sure you can get it everywhere if you do find them it's called color meal if you do find it i mean i know it's in uk english spelling but so i'm sure you can find it in the us as well but if you do find it let me get a smaller bottles one second because they are not cheap um if you do find uh, this company um then each drop goes a very long way so you don't want to go to the big ones unless you're making chocolate so uh, i would recommend to go for the small ones and then they are not not that expensive and really one drop really goes a long way so you don't need more than that um, and and also the consistency of it I think here I only had a few drop and it's quite strong you can see here um, so you can play with it at the beginning um, so this is oil based and I'm sure any other even watercolor based um, color will do I'm also using, this is also like powder I'm using for chocolate, it's called Edible uh, Luster. Um, this is also for ice, uh, ice sugar kind of craft as well. So these are really not expensive and let me find one. So I'm sure you can do, well, I'm using other eyeshadow. 
eyeshadows or this one but this really goes uh, like you don't need that much and you get like really nice um, let me try and do one so you really don't need a lot of it so the reason I'm not buying new stuff is because I have so much of everything and I don't want to one second so you can see just one I didn't even touch it oddly and it really goes a long way and then on top of it let me just close it put a lid on otherwise it will be everywhere um, this is you can find in any supermarket I think it's a um, pearl powder spray gold spray uh, different companies you can find it everywhere and no this is from the supermarket sorry this is from I think just like cake shop you know um, uh, online shop that you can find this but I like it a lot I mean look this is using the spray this is just for cakes and let me show you an example um, it's beautiful it's like magic <laughs> so one little spray it will go all wet at the beginning and in a moment it will all turn gold like this and I think you, you can get it in like bronze color as well and I don't know if you can see in the camera but there's so many shades I'm in a different place right now I'm in the kitchen so I'm close to the oven to, so once I make this I can quickly just put them in the oven uh, just a few seconds and you will see the effect so it's just like different place different I don't know dynamics so <laughs> I am will I'll be okay I'm just not used to work from here also I'm standing so let me make one quickly with you and then I'll show you how I make this and the ruffles. Well, the ruffles, this will dry in a second, but the ruffles basically I, I stitch, let me see, I stitch them because it's easier. If you don't have a stitching machine, uh, a stitching, a sewing machine, <laughs> um, you can just like put, let me try with one, just put a bit of glue. I think I'm sure it will work this way in the middle well that's a short one just put a bit of glue in the middle just a line and then you just go like this actually I like it standing making the tutorial I'll make one with you in a moment so I don't want to jump from one thing to another so I've put a few drops let me add a bit more so you see how concentrated is this so one drop you can see it's oily that's one drop is enough and i think sometimes what i do with the leftovers i just go like this because anyway i'm going to stain it <clears throat> it's very oily so you don't want to keep it in your cupboard like this <laughs> so make sure you have them still oh another thing i'm using is this is also i mean i'm using for uh, quite a lot of like edible stuff um, is this powder this is also goes a very long way just one little touch I mean when I say little it literally the tip of there of the brush and I then I brush it over and if you are um, if you don't make chocolate I would really recommend because it's really nice and I mean you do need to watch uh, some tutorials how to temper it but it's so nice to make your own because then you know it's kind of healthy you can put some nuts in there uh, decorate it so many things you can do and maybe one day I'll <laughs> make a tutorial anyway so you take one but you take the, it comes I mean this is what I've got left but obviously it comes like five five four or five times uh, like longer than this so usually I trim it with the zigzag scissors but i broke them just literally a few minutes ago when i was trying to cut another piece because it's quite thick um so usually i go for this length you can always then trim it down if i want to make the flowers another option is if you still want to do it all instead of making a lot of small ones sometimes what i do i make them as long then i stitch it twice once here and once there if i want like short ruffles and then i stitch one line leave a gap stitch another line cut in the middle and i've got 
kind of in one go to ruffles and then what I do I, I had it here before and I removed it just for the tutorial and um, I stick it on the back or you can stitch it as well so beautiful it's just so beautiful and then if you add an extra one like a shorter one here then it gives a really nice uh, edge with like loads of tones so here I've got coffee gold pink white everything so let's go back to this so I'll do it slowly and then what I do try not to force it like from here and go like for slowly slowly from the middle because you don't want to break your scissors and I don't want you to break the scissors while cutting your crepe crep, blaming me <laughs> joking one thing I did find is I don't uh, crepe paper with my like fingers because it will never go the way I want and it will just tear things so you really want to use paper right I think you heard a woo the background all the time because I had my oven working so now this noise is out so there are some oh one thing one more thing i'll mention so in here i've got just um a hand wash uh, liquid so sometimes if i want to kind of give it an extra like a smell that you just like to perfume my ruffles or roses then i dip it in so one side i will dip in one color but then it needs to be a color not coffee or tea because it will take over the smell and obviously in here i mixed it like good few drops and then i mix it with like hot water let it cool and then um, and then i dip it in yeah, yeah. Huh. <laughs> sorry <laughs> um I've got young Liam here. So, and then I dip it, oh, I lost concentration now. And then I dip it in the liquid and it has beautiful smell. You, you can't smell it through the um, camera, but it has a really nice smell. It's not so strong. If you want it stronger, you can always put maybe rose water or maybe extract oils and not the, the tea tree ones because it's very strong, but play with it because it's really nice to give it to like to perfume. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Young Liam here. <laughs> it's not so young anymore, by the way. So let's do it. So I drop usually what I do if I want to get like two shades like here. These bits I will usually get rid of. So and the the reason it burned as bad is because I didn't lower the temperatures in my oven. So usually I will do a low temperature. So if I want to get two shades like I have in, where is my ruffle? Ah. I don't know, where's my ruffle? Oh, don't know. Ah, here. So, yeah, if I want different shades, so I dipped slightly in tea, then I dipped in pink, and then I oven dried it. So, uh, what I'll do here, I'm going to... Now, if the, the water are hot, it's fine. If you just boil them, just let you know, it's just the crap is going to absorb the liquid very quickly and will go all the way up which is nice because you will get different shades um, now that the water like the mixes are cold i don't know if it will do the same thing so let me try so i'm dipping it once in here now it's not soaking it let me just um never mind it won't soak it as usually it does um, so i'll try to tilt it a bit don't know if the center will get all the way so I'm pushing it down a bit and then the other side it's nice and then the other side and this point this is where I put a bit of the gold and then I'll do it again once it's out the oven if I want I want it to burn the edges you will have gold everywhere afterwards just warning you but who cares right so unless you drop it but then um, one second not enough space here <laughs> so this i'm going to remove because i just said before here the water with the washing liquid and now i'm gonna this we don't need 
and now I'm just going to drop it to quickly dip it in here and then again if it was hot it would have gone all the way up in seconds I mean in second it would reach up to here which is nice because then the colors are blending let me see if I can get it closer so you can see a bit of the brown here and then the pink and then slowly I mean here it gets like darker pink so let me just dip it a bit longer and then I'm going to put it in the oven so usually it's there for like good 30 minutes half an hour so let me just put it there now and then I'm, I'm back one second let me just put a bit of gold here as well you don't have to use the gold spray but it's just very nice to give it that shimmer Uh, don't worry about this here it's not gonna do affect the color whatsoever so that's basically how i make it you can either just do only coffee only tea only color mix where is the tea one here yeah, that's the tea so what i've done here i while the tea mix like uh, was hot i dipped it on one side quickly because it was like soaking very quickly and then dip the second side and then i left a bit of white at, yeah because i wanted to get this extra shade so so that's something maybe you want to try just like to do two quick uh, dips from each side so basically this is this how quick it is let me just move this too. i'll use this um mixes for other things so let me quickly do show you the wrap I mean, I know most of you probably do have um do have a sewing machine so you know how to do the raffles. I'm not an expert or anything. Basically, just I press the paddle and then I quickly go like this. I saw someone actually using like fork and then keep pushing it with a fork and it did it very quickly because I had to keep I need to stop and and adjust myself and everything so uh, i'll try the full uh, option next time so that's when stitching if you don't stitch so this is how it comes from the oven usually i get rid of the burnt ones on top said no cutting <laughs> and I, I i get rid of these and with this maybe i'll just make some flowers so let me make one with you yeah so if you don't have a sewing machine and you want to make the ruffle you need i need a, a thinner one never mind so you just want to make a very long line maybe you can do it with double-sided tape i tried a few times but it didn't work for me as good so basically i'm just going like this and then at the end after it dries this is when i'll spray it with a bit of gold to give it some a few shades so with like stitching it will look much nicer i think i don't have any more gold in here hey glue so yeah so basically this is how you keep going i'm just showing you the motion like this so I make the gaps quite small. With the uh, stitching, it's nice, especially if you use a darker um, thread. Right, so, and this is once you add the gold. I think it's nearly the end of it. Let me try with this one. So you really don't need a lot. This is literally how much dipping it gently oh that's too much now I said gently can <laughs> you see this is how much it managed to catch just and I brush it with this I have a better brush I can't find it I 
and just close it yet so that's how it looks sometimes if i want to fill like bigger gaps i've got this like nail polish and i just go over these areas like that i just stain it it smells a bit now but the smell will go in a moment so that's another option or eyeshadow <clears throat> you can use right so these are the ruffles um let me do one i mean what's nice about this that it's a, a kind of i mean if you even if you stitch it just like that it already has this curve from the crepe and the and while oven drying it so you don't need that much let me make this actually it's not the right tape for this but it's okay so you don't need even to ruffle it that much so i would i will take this the burnt area and i'm just now i need a bit of glue on this side as well and you don't need that to ruffle it like to fold that many times because it has a nice curve from the from the oven and from the crepe paper itself Up. so i have glue like a strip of glue at the bottom actually to enlarge the gaps let me turn it around so you can see my hands are a bit sticky there you go really nice and you can this one also this is not working anymore. Let me try this one. Yeah. You can't see it through the camera, but it is such a lovely shade. I'm not, I don't think you can, but it's really nice. Right, so for these ones, I'm not an expert making flowers, but this is a really easy one to make. Um, let me try with this one. I'm gonna get rid of these. Well, they're all like that, so I'm just going to use it as is, or go for the pink one. Right, so basically, Karen, I just made them, how come you forgot? Oh, yes, okay. <laughs> One second, so I've got, <laughs> I've got a few here ready of these um, pearls and, I don't know, these beads. They're not exactly beads, they've got a flat side to it. So... I what have I done before? Yeah, we're just folding like that. Fine. So I'm applying glue, like strips of glue, just to one side. I'm folding this way, so I'm just going to apply the glue to this side, and I'll keep adding more glue as I go along. So I've got one strip here, and all I do is start folding in an angle. Let me try and do it closer here. So my hands will get sticky. But it's fine. I'm trying to do like very narrow, um, like the gaps. This is quite large. I wouldn't do it as large normally. Right. Do you have more glue here? Yeah. So I just keep going. This one is the same. I just gave it a haircut. Because what I'm thinking is just to make them in different sizes and then you can put them on top of each other like in different sizes and then this in the middle but when there are quite like light one side only then you can stick them if you make them smaller but flat be really nice to add. I'll, I'll trim one in a moment to add them to your journals really nice right let me add a bit more gold there you go glue it's the second time I see gold instead of glue both with g maybe that's why right so 
so slowly I'm starting to close the gap to here so I just need to be careful I'm not I'm still in a going in like in, in a circle where am I and then when I I feel I'm closer I'm just going to kind of shape it I'm going to tear it I mean to cut the edge yeah I'm fine so I'm just holding it from both sides it's so nice when you do like a quick dip so I would recommend to work with the water just after they're boiled well not completely boiling but really warm because then it you do a quick dip and then quickly the water the color start to absorb the crepe paper and you get all these beautiful shades right so so now i'm shaping it and then the last bit i'm kind of folding a second so at this point i need some glue on this side i don't like to work with hot gun like hot glue gun because it all gets bulky and messy so I'd rather to get my hands sticky now I need to shape the front as well right let me just get my hands clean now they're wet Oh, it's so handy to be in the kitchen. You've got everything in it. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, now this bit, that's the only bit. It's hard because I want to show, like, to be closer, but usually I do it uh, on the worktop. So, this is when I would try to kind of hide the meeting, the joining point. So soon you won't be able to see it so that's what you want to achieve basically especially if you're gonna have like different layers on top then you're not gonna see it so at this point you can either thread um, a, a bead through or just with one of these to stick it in the middle and I know at the beginning it didn't look as nice but once you add something here in the middle it's so pretty at this point maybe i would use um, a glue gun for this um but um this would do for now right and once it's it dries oh you want a bit of glue here as well This is ready. This one, I think, I did it. The gaps much, much closer to each other. And I think what I've done, actually, let me try with this as well, because the shade of this spray and it actually didn't cost me a lot of money. That was, I think, a couple of pounds, so it'd be like around three dollars. But it goes a long way. I've got it. I'm using it for such a long time now. Um. So I'm just going to do one quick drop here in the middle so I'll have different shades so if you don't want to use gold then I'm sure you can find it in bronze as well so let me try and do just a quick one now I'm just worried it will spread around I know what I'm going to do I'm going to cover some of the areas because I want the rest to stay pink okay this is really improvising right now that's fine. There you go. No, maybe I'll wait a second because that was li literally two sprays, two like, and this it made it was white before, like nearly all white. And uh, look, it made the edges so nice. I mean, this is from this. So let me see what it will do in a moment. So at this point, what you can do, if they're in different lengths, 
then you can make put them one on top of each other. Let me remove these. Yep. Put this on top. Remove these. <laughs> put this on top. I oh, know I want the pink one. So this is if you want to do something a bit more bulky. And this is gonna come here. And this is gonna come here. You can't see this one as much. But this is if you want to make something a bit more bulky. That's it really, I think. So that was it. So let me cover everything. Um, so only if you can find this, just any oil-based edible color, because I know for sure it will give it a really nice um, a texture and color and it create this kind of softness. I can't even explain this to you. Where is this one? It's so soft to touch. I mean, so nice to touch it. There is some softness to it, which you don't feel. I mean, this is quite rough. When I'm touching this, for some reason, it's so soft. Um, and yeah, for sure. I mean, touching this and touching this, you can hear. And this is much lighter. Um, and this is a really nice smell as well, because I perfumed it before. So again, if you can find any of these, if you can find the color meal, uh, if not any oil-based edible like chocolate, I know that works for sure. This you can find in the supermarket, and if not, eyeshadow, um, this one as well, uh, the nail polish, and these ones as well. These one I don't think it's for sure. It's like for sugar craft. So if you can find this in your local store, give it a go. Oh, one thing I was gonna mention. This doesn't have that much ink left, but sometimes I go, I go over the edges. I go over the edges like this, just to edge yours. So like you do with your papers, I would recommend doing this too, as well. I, I think that that's it really. If you have any questions or links for anything, um, if you're in the UK, I can find this. I can also try and source this for you in the US if you cannot find and well that's the main I mean this is obviously I wanted to share but um oh, this is nice and light as well um this is basically what I use my crepe paper for so I hope that was helpful and thank you so much for joining me and watching thanks so much <laughs>